Hello everyone. So welcome to the stream today. So you probably see we're gonna be playing some Minecraft today. I'm trying to do a two stream once a week thing now. Especially since you know focus on a Tuesday, Pokemon Mo. Uh and then switch changing it up every once in a while, do Minecraft, maybe do something else. So it's gonna be a chill stream today. Gonna be a few hours, maybe three or four, depending. But, should be a fun time. Um, technically, uh, if you saw the VOD when it went up for the first time I played this, uh, that is technically like a part zero. I feel like that was more so like a, a preliminary into what I what this whole thing is going to be. Until we get set up into the, uh, the main village, which I'm going to be setting as the world spawn. Uh, prior to setting up the, uh, starting the stream, I went through and flew around a little bit, uh, just to map out the area, just so I can figure out, all right, I want to go to that village instead of world spawn. And I set some waypoints for me to set as goals. I didn't explore them or anything. I just literally like flew around, set a waypoint. I'm good. Um, but I am, I'm, I am at my base. So I'm going to be, the, the whole stream is going to be me trekking to one of the villages and just explore around and do that stuff more specifically um outside of that though everything i added a, a few more mods on it, originally there was like 280 mods now it's 334 a lot of them are more quality of life stuff as well as stuff that i it, i saw that looked like oh that's a be that would be really cool and so one of the examples is i added a mod that makes villages have like a title or like a name so when you go into a village it says like now entering so and so and every villager now has a generated name so you go into a village and say oh hey there's like jeffrey and then you know so that makes it a little more personal i like that um i had a few other quality of life things that were really cool i liked um like campfires now if you place a campfire mobs are repelled from the campfire um uh villages are more safer now as well i believe now zombies can't enter that area or like like mobs they're, they're they can't enter or something like that um just to make like safe spots i guess you would say for these uh locations um and which would make sense for you know like a spawn point for when they'll be setting up for people to spawn in be safe in the area and then they could go out and explore um, like I said, I'm, the whole point of this is more so a casual experience, but also an enjoyable experience. Um, I don't want anything too crazy, but, but yeah, that's basically the goal. I mean, there's still going to be, I added more like world generation stuff that's like really, really big, like cool, like dungeon stuff that's on the surface, like, like full sort of like, um, the wooden mansion It's very similar to that. So, uh, I didn't see any of that yet. I saw like one or two smaller structures while I was flying around, but not, uh, but nothing like, like of those big ones. So we're eventually we're gonna probably get to explore even further out where I flew around and maybe even see them in the new generation areas. Uh, but that's probably not gonna be this stream. This stream is mostly going to the village, setting up a world spawn. Um, if anyone ever wants to join in, they could hit me up on the Discord. Um, my Discord link is down below. Um, if you join, I already put the mod pack that I'm using, but also, um, if you do want to join in, uh, hit either message me in the discord or send me a DM saying that you want to join and I'll shoot the IP for this to you. I actually need to even test. I still technically need to test to see if people can actually join that IP. I tested it just myself, uh, through like two different clients. Um, and it says that I was able to join, but yeah, I still have to test that part of it, but I think it should be good though, since it did look like, yeah, it's verified the IP works all that. So but yeah, with that out of the way, let me move this over. I need to move OBS over here. Uh, turn the music down, like off, uh, just off for now, since I want to, yeah, no. Here, not off. Let's, let's just lower the volume of it, actually. Turn it back on. And then lower it a little bit. Just so it's like a nice little background noise. 
something like that. I think that would be good. Actually, no, a little louder. Yeah, that'd be good. And, all right, turn off the BRB, or, you know, starting soon. And, also, you might have noticed that I changed the layout this time around. Um, I basically wanted to make this a full, full screen. I did other editions, so you probably will notice I didn't, you don't see chat right now. That's because chat is, I added a mod that allows chat to be displayed in-game through the uh, chat box. So messages will just, while I'm playing, I can see, oh, blah, 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 said something. Instead of, like, having a ending thing. Um, as you see, also, my VTubers, our PNG tubers in the bottom right, I move the item UI a little bit to the left of it. Um, just little things here and there. Um, I need to get meat for my dog to heal it, but I don't have any, like, normal meat. But, uh, what time is it? Alright. I think we could head to the village. So I set down waypoints for each village. Um, most of them are pretty, uh, basic stuff. But... Let me head this way. I already added all the items that I really needed to keep in my inventory in, uh... Well, add it from the chest into my inventory, I should say. Alright. I love how treacherous it is to travel through here with the uh, multiple, like, layers of snow I put in. It's very, like, tricky. Alright. Yeah, there's, like, a big village that's on top of a mountain over there that I, I want to set the waypoint. Because that's, like, a really cool spot to, like, say, spawn in at. Oh, hey, cool. Mushroom girl. I did a few things here and there. Um, yeah, I don't have anything to do. I did some funny mods that I thought would be real uh, funny to have. And they are useful, but I have to uh, get the stuff to do, uh, show them off eventually. There's a lot of little things in the mod pack that I, I add to, like, quality of life, but also a little funny but yeah All right, here's the village that wasn't too bad that's to actually that was way farther than I was expecting but all right and let's enter the village let's see what is its name uh Car Carleon Carleon village interesting I should change the how it displays in the game, the um, like on the map. It is a lot of like overload on the names. Also, speaking of, I need to open the friends. Uh, what was it two two five five six five? I think that's what. Yeah. Uh, that comments off. All right, there we go. Let's see uh, what these buildings have. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, nice bread and potatoes. It's always good to have. But yeah, this isn't the one of us that the world spawn on. That's gonna be over there. But. Like, over up there is where I'm gonna set it. What about you? Oh, more bread, and potatoes, and apples. Also, let me know if, uh, since I actually, I know I did a test to see if it worked, the chat, uh, thing, but if you are there, send me a little notification or, uh, message, and I will be able to read it in game. But yeah. This is just to be a little casual, fun expression. Why is it hey, he's like, who decided to put the bill of this here? <laughs> so goofy. All right. Kitty cat. What's in here? So let me know if the uh, music is too low. I think it actually might be on my end. 
I can barely hear it. So let me uh, turn that up a little. Yeah, it's a little better. Much better. Chess. It's all bread. Nothing, uh, nothing really else here. I mean, there's some gold nuggets, so that's good to have, but... And I, I need meat, so... Oh, and I got a mob head. Nice. That was another addition I added. For, uh... Mobs basically will drop that stuff. And I can put it on. <laughs> Alright. Um, wait, can I feed it raw meat? Or does it have to be cooked? Let's see. Where are you going? Alright, that's good. Okay. This just makes all possible globally marked trade. Okay, I see. A little scuffed looking, but... Alright, what's over here? Oh, nice. A uh, blacksmith. Alright, wait, no, this ain't blacksmith. What is this? More bread. Looks like a dye shop or something. Well, I guess I'm leaving the village. <laughs> Let me just fit my spawn there. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I really love this shader, though. It's very, like, a light touch of visual like clean and like cleanliness to it like it looks like minecraft still which is the main thing i want to feel when playing it doesn't feel like oh man i'm playing like a huge like modified game i i mean it still has that but it's not crazy crazy it's a nice little uh thing there beekeeper thing tree down there like bedrock All right. Also, I did ha uh, since because of this this mod adding a lot of uh, bedrock related things, I added another mod that allows me to use TNT to blow up uh, bedrock. So that'll just make you know just in case like oh something like okay, uh, just to make things like in case like oh bedrock gets placed by some random thing or whatever. I and I want to build something there. I could just you know blow it up with TNT. So just little things like that. So a little bit of a non inconvenience becomes you know just a little issue, but not too much of a bad thing. All right. And what is that's that one building type of building? So let me head to that pillar though over there. It looks like it has some uh, minerals that I could use and keep. Alright. Oh, Zuli, some gold. Yeah, this is good stuff. I mean, I need to empty out my thing here. Um... Anything I could eat? And I don't need the cobble, so yeah. Perfect. Thing down here. Oh, there's one. Wait, how far down do these go? Alright, these goes way far down more than I was expecting. 
Um, wait, but this is my offhand. There we go. Yeah, this is far farther than I was expecting at all for these. I thought they were this, you know, little surface spikes. But no, they're like shards almost. I think that's how far they go, though. All right, uh, let's get out of here. Make sure. All right. Oh, diamond. Get a little one here. Or is it just a very buried one? Might be just very buried. Very buried. It's a. Sounds like some, like, sort of, uh, cereal. <laughs> Ooh, hit a mineral. Um, man, it's always hard to, like, sort this stuff. I guess I could eat some carrots. Well, I can't eat carrots, I'm Oh, man. I, I don't need that. Or diamonds, or is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. All right, let's head on out. So, outside of this, um, so you probably have seen I've been playing Pokemon MMO. I've been uh. You know, I've always, like, like enjoy Pokemon and stuff like that. So I was, like, going through and uh, looking into some other, like, ROM hacks and stuff like that. Because technically, I, while I have partaken in the, um, the Johto part on stream with Jitch, I didn't actually stream it myself. And I have no VODs of, technically, of Johto. So I was, like... You know, I was looking around to see if there was any, like, Johto ROM hacks that I could, uh, play or fan games or something like that. And I found an interesting hack of, uh, that I think I've seen in the past, but I got recommended a, uh, the new update that they had, which was a Pokemon, uh, Pure RGB, I think it was. And... I was like, man, this looks really cool for like a uh, an OG red, blue, green, um, like ROM hack. It added a whole bunch of stuff. Also, let me unsit you. And I thought of checking that out, but I feel like I want to at least do like Johto and like first, like you know, gold and silver sort of uh, game. And because it would just make sense to do that because I already have um, Pokemon full color red or no, it's Pokemon red full color. And that was like my first like full playthrough I did on the channel, which I mean, hey, it'd be nice to revisit. But I mean, I want to um, I just want to make sure I want to get everything in a way, all the things that are uh, interesting of like all the gins. Before I move on to something like a sort of a repeat. And I do want to explore like more like custom hacks and raw hacks. Like I fool's gold I really want to play. But I want to get a more like Johto experience. Like a normal one first before I get onto that. I have a, a few different goals in mind in the future that I want to do. So let me make a crafting bench. Is this not working? All right, I guess that doesn't work. All right, I added a mod that allows you to right-click items. Um, yeah, this, to right-click items to allow you to just use them in your inventory in your hand. I guess that's not working, unless it's here. Wait, actually, I think I might know why. I have to have it in my right hand, I think. I 
Let's see. No. Alright. That doesn't work. I'll see that there. I don't need it. Um. And put my torches here. I want the gold, at least. I don't really need that coal. Alright. Let's head. Where am I heading? Up there. Alright. We're gonna go through the night. I think we should be fine. Whoa. That's cool. A lot of cool caves around here. Mobs are spawning, so... Also, if you want to know what the music is at all at any time... Oh, what's that over there? Um, it's at the top right of the screen. I try to always have my playlist like, since it is a playlist on my main channel that I use, it's uh, that I compiled the video game music. Um, and so I sort of want to always have that uh, used. And I am making another playlist. Uh, architecture lab, oh, interesting. Um. That I just want to use and, you know, it, it's just good to have in the background. And it's just, you know, good music, video game music. And it's doesn't get ever in the issue of like, oh, I can't play this. Oh, I got hit by a, like, copy strike or something like that. It's stupid nonsense like that. That's mainly why I made the thing. So, like, streamers and content creators can like, oh, th this music is good. I can use this then. But, obviously, it can eventually change. Oh, what is that? Oh, boy. Alright. What's in here? I saw some sort of particle here. And it's not normal for a cave spider. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, put down some torches here. Alright, now they shouldn't spawn. What's in here anyway? Okay, cool. So that's what they were guarding. Um, I really don't need those. Oh man, that's a lot of iron. One more lapis lazuli. Oops. Got more gold. Ooh, a name tag. That's good to have. So we can do a custom uh, nickname to a mob. I think I added something of relation to that. I need these arrows. More lapis lazuli. More iron. Also, I do... This song reminded me. I do want to do a worm world eventually. I do have the game, and I have played it for a little bit in the past. Ooh, music. Nice. Um, But yeah, RimWorld is definitely a thing I want to uh, stream. It's a very cozy, like, fun game. Even though it's a very hectic, to say the least. But... It's definitely uh, one of the things I eventually want to get to as well. What is that? Um, fire protection. Not bad. Okay, I'll take that. Man, I'm getting a full, like... What is that noise? Enchantments. Nice. Yeah, this is a really good, uh, like, building. Oh, some potions. Instant health. Oh, that's really good to have. So we got a, uh, hel helmet of some sort? What is this? This is a normal one? Okay. Give me this. Place that back. I don't need it. And the tower. So that's the village I want to get to. 
This is a good um, little pit stop, I guess. So we got a bunch of mobs spawning around now. Oh my god, a skeleton on a uh, skeleton horse. So I have added a zoom option. Even though I don't got a telescope, this just allows me to alt. Um, like how, you know, mods usually have one. I just have it modeled after the item in the game. So yeah, there's a village over there as well. And there's like something that looked interesting to visit. And there's a village all the way over there as well. I came from the, this one, Village 1, and my base is all the way over there. Well, my original base. Um, but yeah. I probably will take these potions, because these are really good potions I have. And I'm not interested in making potions. I never have been. Um, but I do want to, you know, start smelting some stuff here I have. Is there any normal furnace here? I don't think so. This is the blast furnace. Wait, do, do blast furnaces work as well? Um, let's see. I don't think they work like normal furnaces. Oh, no, they do. This is faster, I think. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll just melt this stuff down. Um, yeah, this is fine. Let me check Discord, see if anyone hit me up on if they wanted to join or not. Nope, not yet. Alright, we got some to make into. Of course there's no crafting bench. Like, I swear, so, sometimes, I mean, I understand, like, you make a thing that looks aesthetically pleasing and works, but it's like, whatever was living here would need to have to know, like, how to make a crafting bench, at least. Because there doesn't seem to be one at all in this building. And I don't have any wood on me right now. Oh, wait. There's some wood on here. I can just grab one of this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this will work. Let's grab uh, four pieces. Perfect. And then one more over here. Alright. And then we could craft it. Let me just head up here. And there we go. Nice. And then we could make a few more blocks. Also, this is a, I, I think I showed this before, but you can literally like craft the stuff like um like the Minecraft movie and literally just like have it sit on the crafting table. I just found that really cool. Wait, is that me moving? That's doing that? Alright, it is. Okay. I got confused there for a second. These I can craft as well. And you iron ingots. Alright, since it is getting light out, that's good. I can get this axe here. And chop down some trees. I guess he's just gonna sit there and not burn. Or is he gonna burn soon? Let's just wait and see. I guess that tree is a little bigger than whatever, so I'll just do this one. Yeah, I really uh, enjoy what how much uh, the pack is like has the offer of everything I included. There's just a lot of like enjoyable um, 
like quality of life stuff. So I think I added a mod that makes it so you can't stomp on. Oh, wait, no. I think it's only if you walk. It doesn't destroy it if you walk on it. Like, again, quality of life thing. Mostly to make tedium not be as tedious. All right. Um, yeah, I wanted to just, you know, rest some of the stuff with logs. Is it better to burn the logs or to, I don't know, or to get the charcoal out of them? I'm not sure. Uh, what else? What else? I guess some of these as well. All right. And in a few, once I get this done, not all smelted, I can uh, get through. But let me. Since there's items on the ground somewhere. I think that's outside, so let me go outside and grab them. Alright. Oh, wait. These are the logs. Um. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Some sticks fell. Also, let me grab those, the wood that I dropped. Did I drop it outside? I think I dropped it outside. No. Yeah, I dropped it outside. Okay. Let me make this into some blocks. Smell that. And then we should be good. Alright. These into some blocks. And then. I don't think I can smelt these. Because that's a that's a wait. Can I smelt the blocks themselves? No, I can't. Okay. Um, I think I should be good. Oh, wait, no, I could do one more gold. Alright, awesome. There we go. Oh, yeah, and wheat. Alright, perfect. I think I got everything I need. Now I can head up to the village up there. I'll just grab this. Um, what one do I need now? I don't need that. That's a little less. Alright, let's head on up there. I got it. Oh, nice. He died. I really want to own one of these, so... Wait, I have apples. Wait. Oh, I'm... I'm duh, I'm done. I'm putting it on my head. Is it not... Do I have a saddle? No, I think I left it back at the base. Dang it. Oh well, whatever. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. I did not know they catch on fire in the sun. I guess maybe that's why you need to have a saddle. So that doesn't happen. Also, wait, is that a structure of some sort? It doesn't look like one. A little odd though. Or is that just some natural generation thing? No, that looks like a natural generation thing. Yeah. It looked odd for a second. I thought that was like, oh, what is this? Oh, what is the best way up there? Wait, 
is that? Oh, it looks like a well. Okay. Um, really cool cave in there, though. This is, I really like this structure thing. Like, all right, here's a part of a village. I guess this will technically lead up there, maybe? Or not? What? I guess this was like a cutoff of a village or something? <laughs> like what? Okay, whatever. Let's just go around, I guess. Hey, here's a structure of sort. Hey, what's that? Hey, where am I? Uh... I don't think that's supposed to look like that. Okay, then. <laughs> I think that's a generation issue. Hey, what's that over there? Alright, it's a little thing. This is cool. More carrots. Um, just get more apples here. Cooked food is always good to have. Um, I don't need this. Well, no, it's iron. I want that. Pumpkins. I can put that there. What was that? Oh. All right. Um, I think we could go up this way. This looks like a generally like not so bad climb. I just like the idea of just having like a our base built on top of a um, large like mountain like this overseeing like this whole field. It's just a really cool concept. Plus, it's next to like a village. I'm not even sure what this village name is. It should be. Uh, hopefully, it's like cool. It's probably going to be like something stupid, though. Knowing mean, villagers. So it'll be uh, fun to eventually have to uh, make a way to normally get up and down this. Because right now this is like a bit of annoying. So I will have to make like a, uh, a ladder system or bridge of some sort. And let me just make sure. I'm, I'm still not sure. Yeah, okay, we're good. Okay. And we're at the... Oh, nope. Not at the top just yet. Well, see, I literally think that it was just a village thing that just got cut off. <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. Just a little more. Alright, we're in the village here. What is the name of this village? No one's in there. Is it a ghost town? <laughs> that doesn't look good. Looks a little unsafe. Uh, what about you? Man, I, man, how do you guys live like this? Alright, here we are. I guess we have to get, to, like, mainly to this town center, maybe? Or is this like, or is the issue, the town is so high up that maybe the mod doesn't recognize it as like a proper town of some sort? I don't know. It's a little odd that I'm not getting like a pop-up or anything for it. Unless it's like based off like the highest point of the town. No, that would make sense. Is it raining? No. I do have a mod that makes it so rain doesn't happen at the, like, if you're above the clouds, so I'm not even sure if we're 
above the clouds, technically. But yeah. Um. Okay, I guess this is a town with no name. Also, there's nothing really interesting in this town. Which is fine. We're gonna make it interesting. That's the whole point. So... So for that out of the way, though, I think we I should make a little um little like spawn building. So I'm thinking this looks like a good area to like dig into. Then you walk out, you come out here. Yeah, that's that feels like a good idea. It looks like a, a perfect opportunity to decorate as well. Uh, get my shovel here. Also, there's iron here, so let me grab that. But yeah, I want to make a chest as well to place somewhere. That's a lot of iron. But yeah, this will be a, a little bit of a uh, perfect little spawn point for everyone to join in when if they want to join in or not. Um, get some iron there. All right, perfect. And I got wood on me right now. Okay, uh, there's a tree here, so I could do that. All right. Where is it? Wait, where'd it go? Oh, it didn't craft. God dang it. All right, now we're good. So, place that here, and then grab two of these, make a chest. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. I guess technically, since it's not considered a village with no, the name, mobs are spawning. Alright. How do you make a campfire? Is that, I know, camp... Hole in the stick. Uh, oh my god. No. No. Yeah, I need to set up a campfire quick. I don't got coal, so. I gotta start digging for some coal. Because I, I don't want no mobs spawning around me. Like that. Coal should be around here somewhere. I got some iron again. Let me just place some torches around. Actually, wait. Why don't I just sleep it? Also, let me make sure I have my chat thing. Uh, slash. Twitch. Connect. Those are in red. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Oh, there was coal right there. Alright. Let me get that coal and um, put it on a campfire. And we should be good. Alright, there we go. Uh, oh, I need to increase my chest. I don't need that. I don't need apples on me, or the fish on me, or the other fish on me. Just right now. I need to just have an open inventory. Because I have too much stuff on me. that in there all right I think we should be good now and then I just need to make a some sticks and what was that campfire again and some logs all right so I need to get some more trees set down I mean I could put that there so I could get some trees to grow but 
All right. This should be easy. If there's a tree up here, hopefully. I don't think there is. So I might have to um, IOU when this is the villagers. <laughs> oh, I know he's one. Never mind. You didn't hear anything. And I'll just place another tree back. And place one here, too. Alright, and now we can make the uh, campfire. I need to eat. Okay. Wait, I need to craft. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. And I should place this like. Like here. Yeah, that looks cool. Grab some of the cobble here. All right, and then we should be good. So we have is also regeneration around it, so that's helping me right now. Um, like I said, very minor, but also like very casual things, just to make you know things a little more um, enjoyable. It makes it a little easier, but also there's a lot of challenge stuff I added, so it makes some things even uh, like you know more challenging. So just uh, I balance it out a little bit here and there. But yeah, I want to dig that out, dig this out. All right. Let me check this score again real quick. All right. Nope, we're good. Sorry for the uh, tapping out and stuff like that. I just want to make sure, like, since I how the system I have, like, I mean, obviously they could probably just, like, message me in chat saying, oh, yeah, yeah, sent you a DM for the uh, IP I need. But, you know, always got to make sure. All right. Um, maybe I should just make it go to the left more. So I don't like stuff being off center. Also, wait, I want to trust something. Oh, all right, yeah. Yeah, I thought I added a, uh, a mod that prevents that for campfires, but hey, whatever. It's an offset. I mean, there is regeneration, so it's not like it's a, a huge issue. Alright. That should be good. Now, what should I build this, like cave entrance thing out with like what kind of uh mi mineral of sort also you let me move you over i don't need you right now move here bud all right there we go don't want to hit you all right let's see yeah, I think that should be good. I'm probably going to make this out of something decent. Maybe like cobblestone. Or not cobblestone. What am I talking about? Um, just like normal like, like a stone brick thing. Me, first off, let me make a uh, furnace. So I need one of those. At least that here. Uh, place the coal in here. Start smelting some of that. And one of the goals I do want to eventually do is also start, um, like, do a big quarry. That's something I always love doing. I love just, like, doing mindless tasks. I'll probably do that stuff, like, more so off stream. Because I don't think that'd be as fun to see someone do. 
Because it's literally just a mindless digging, digging, digging. And I, I tend to multitask while doing that sort of thing. So it wouldn't be as interesting for a stream if I did it that way. But like I said, this is generally, uh, while I'm playing this, it's all like a casual thing. I think I got, I got an emerald from that. Nice. Um, It's all a casual playthrough thing. I'm not l interested in doing like crazy, like I'm building like the biggest Blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'm setting out gold. Oh, my God. God dang it. This game is, ha like, haunted and cursed or some shit. Either that or that furnace, like, just, like, combusted on me or something. Oh, nice, another hidden mineral. You get rewarded, then you get punished. That's that's how I'm seeing things are uh, for me right now. It's like here we got a little thing for you, and then oh my god, you get exploded. But yeah, this will be a nice little spawn for people to spawn in at. Another emerald. Like the the mineral stuff, that's gonna be very helpful for people, you know. Since we have all these villages, it allows people to just, you know, set up um a sort of easy quick, alright, I want to trade with these, and then you go mining, oh I got all these emeralds. You don't need to go to like a giant um mountain to get mineral get this stuff. It just spawns naturally, which is really nice to see. Because, as I say, tedium is, like, the annoyance, and it doesn't really provide much enjoyment. So, as long as you can get stuff curbed like that, you're not gonna be as annoyed in a playthrough. Which is my main thing I want to try to avoid. I don't want... Because as soon as you start getting annoyed you start oh man do i really want to play that game again oh do i really want to return back even though you have some goals and all that but you just get annoyed by things uh it's sort of why i don't at times enjoy doing like nether stuff um because like oh man you have to go get blaze rods i've never enjoyed dealing with blazes um, but there's certain things I added that were like, it makes things a little more streamlined. Um, I think, I think there was like boosted blaze odds or something like that. I know, uh, bartering with big piglins or yeah, piglins. I added something that makes that a little easier. Like there's like a mechanic added of some sort after the, I have actually, you know, I usually, I looked at them, looked at it for a little bit. So, oh, that's pretty cool. That would actually be really nice. And then I never touched or like you know looked into it in game so whatever that is it'll be interesting when i get to but yeah what i'm thinking what i'll do with this building here is i'll build it out and i might make it like a like a two or three built story building and maybe no it'd be a four story because then you could get it out the top of the area too so it'd be you can come down this way or you can go out that way and then eventually like i said i'll make like a staircase to go down let me see well probably i'll just base it off of this or you know well i don't know well what is this there's a lot of these things like someone built like a path but yeah um I want to know what this is eventually. Um, what is that? What is that? What the heck is that? That is moving fast. Is that like a zombie? Oh, it's a cat. I'm so confused. That's a weird face. I had to like, I had to squint and like get close with my head. <laughs> Oh, there's a witch over there. Where am I at right now? Right here. Okay. 
But yeah, oh, there's an iron uh, villager. And how many villagers are there? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. There's five villagers, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight houses. And they must have, like, someone must have dropped off or something. But yeah, there's this village down here. Two churches. Don't know what this is. Um, something interesting here. As well as here. Like I said, I want to know what this is. This looks interesting. It's different from, like, these houses. These are just, like, normal, like, random, like, empty houses. But. That's, like, a wagon, it looks like, here. Another cool village here. But yeah, a lot of cool stuff though. Like this is thing, like pyramid. Oh, another wagon. Uh, this looks like a tent, I think. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff here. So, oh, wrong thing. There we go. All right, so let me continue on. Let me go to the furnace real quick. Grab the stone. All right, uh, crafting table. Do that. Yeah, that's how I do it. And we get 24 out of that. So let me uh, smelt some more cobble here. Just smelt all that. That'll be nice. All right, so this is a. Uh, the walls will be this here, so. Alright. That should be good there. Alright, so. I might have to extend it one to the left. Wait, one second. Since that's going to be a wall up, and then all up. No, I want, yeah, extend it one more to the left. That way, I can then have it that way. Three, four, four. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that'll look nice. And I'll probably have it, what I'm going to do is, I'll probably, um, I was thinking of, no, yeah, I'll do that. That's That sounds like a cool idea. I'll have, like, stairs here that go up, and then it'd be, a, a, like, a door here. I, I like a sort of, uh, it'd be a cool little, like, recess into the uh, building. I like stuff like that. That, that. That'll look really cool because then it'll like, looks like it's, you know, it's built into the building. And I'll have some windows here. Yeah, that'll be cool. All right. And I need, so this is one, two, this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And get this wall down a little bit. Right now. I'm just counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, did I miscount again? Yeah, I did. Oopsies. I need to expand it one more. Now, it should be good. Yeah, that looks good. Nice and recessed. It looks nice. Yeah, yeah. And then I could break this. Then I could place these. 
Alright, awesome. And that'll allow me to then place these here. And they'll have, those will have nice windows looking outwards. And we will have, you know, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And so this will be uh, 10 by 10 inside. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, let's see what that is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that will give me ten. Also, it's a little glitchy for um, whatever reason with that mod uh, of torches. But hey, it's what it is. It's still a convenience, but it's a little annoying. But yeah, that'll be nice to have now here. Also, if you haven't, since this music is playing, um, I recommend you guys, uh, if you like Pokemon um, and like playing fan games and stuff like that, I recommend checking out uh, Vinemon Sauce Edition. It is a game that I spent a lot of years on working with my friends. Um, we put a lot of love and passion to it. A lot of quality of life stuff. Um, it's a little self-promo, I guess you would say, but it's something that I... It's it's it has a good nice community and but I still is sort of niche in people playing it, but everyone that has played it usually mentions like, oh my god, this is like one of the best fan games of they've ever played, stuff like that. So you can probably check um just there's a whole bunch of videos. I personally recommend either uh checking out uh just Jitch's uh like playthrough of it. His was pretty cool because he had he has some idea of like uh the, the vine sauce stuff, which you don't technically need to know vine sauce to actually play and enjoy. Uh, that is more so just a uh, our what's it called um a point where we went through and decided to, you know we're going off of this to use as our base because we were all fans of like Vinny and uh, vine sauce. So when we you know went off that we decided okay we go with this and continue on and then we put a lot of love and passion into making a game that we ourselves would love to play and like sort of wish uh pokemon games were sort of at this point be so where's it there um but yeah i i feel anyone can be able to enjoy that uh enjoy it basically if you enjoy pokemon that is All right, there we go. We got more of those. But yeah, um, outside of that, uh, let's see. I need only one of them. So, if you guys ever have uh, suggestions of like games I should play or stuff I should do or whatnot. Feel free to, you know, either send me, like, a tweet or message at Discord or, you know, just, like, either in chat as well. I'm down for, you know, checking a lot of things out um, as long as, you know, it's within my ballpark of what I enjoy. I gen generally am uh, not too picky on games, but, of course, like, you know, if it's a little pricey, I'm probably not going to play that. But if it is something, you know, like an older game or a rom hack or fan game i'd be interested in checking out if there's interest by the community to uh i mean to check out stuff because i'm always interesting to expanding my horizons on things i'm not that picky you know well i am picky but i'm mostly picky with what i eat <laughs> not really what uh i play but the only thing that I really have somewhat issues playing is mostly like, you know, um, old 2D platformers, like ones that are like designed to be like arcadey annoying. That's my main thing that I'm not too fond of. Let me pick up all this cobble. Alright, and then we could place it here 
All right, there we go. This is coming along nicely so far. Oh, hell yawn. Sorry about that. I'm gonna get a little uh, yawny here and there. I didn't actually, I forgot to grab my kickstart that I have uh, in my little fridge here. I might BRB in a sec to grab that. So I just, you know, perk up a little bit. Need some coal here. Also, speaking of the music wise, um, I am doing another playlist. That is the thing that I'm uh, compiling music for again. It's, you know, it's always good to have multiple playlists and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm working on that. That's one thing I want to work on. I'm also wanting to work on doing some more, um, like, highlight. I want to make some highlights of myself, of my older stuff. Um, not sure how that's going to look visually. Like, I'm, I'm, I have some ideas of what I want to do. Um, I think I commented on this in the past, uh, time I, w I was playing. Um, basically, I want to highlight it in a way that, like, some older... I don't think I actually mentioned this. I think this was, like, a thought I had, but not, like, mentioned out loud. Um, I want to edit it in a way that allows all the content of what I'm talking is still there. But it allows me to just highlight everything when I'm talking and t mentioning stuff of what's happening. And that's also going to be a sort of learning point of, because a lot of times when I'm like playing a game, I'm not too much talking about what I'm interacting with per se. Um, like I am, but I'm also not like focusing on that concept or that I like visual, I guess you would say. Um, like there's a sort of like engagement you sort of have to have, and not just oh yeah, this, that's cool. It's cool. yep, yep, yep. It's more like oh man, that's that's you, you got to get in more engaged with it, which is that's part of the whole streaming and content creation. I it's, it's a learning experience, I guess you would say. Um, I've been uh doing deep dives on certain things that uh content creators do on either their videos or you know all that nonsense and what's like the best way to get um you know people interested in it and engaged and like one thing that i was interested in i was re are uh, watching on about which was like you know like looking at other people in the creative sphere that you're basically like a competitor with or, well, I, they're my competitor, which is what I should say. Um, and see how they're doing stuff. Usually, I usually, like, I I sort of like doing my own thing. Like, that's what I'm basically doing, like, now. I like doing my own thing. But if I'm going to try to, you know, get a little larger, bigger, and stuff like that, I need to sort of, like, keep that in mind. See how other people are doing video edits see what other people in the gaming sphere are like playing and what people are like interested in watching for minecraft here like i know like i most i did this because i wanted to do this i like minecraft and i wanted to play you know something casual fun i like playing casual stuff like this because you, you know you get to choose what you want to do also and grab my stuff over here forgot about this wait what happened here What the hell? It's like something exploded. Like, I heard a noise and, like, stuff on the ground. Wait. No, that wasn't my bed. I, di I didn't sleep. Wait, did I sleep in this bed? No, I slept in this bed. What the hell? Like I said, this this game is haunted or some shit. Alright, uh, now what was I saying? 
Oh yeah. Um. Basically, I'm like. This was sort of my whole thing. I wanted to do like a whole playthrough. I just modded just a casual experience, enjoyable. Um. I I don't want anything like too crazy. However, I I added like a few things here and there just to be more enjoyable. Um. More interesting, uh, have a challenge more than a normal Minecraft playthrough for me. Oh my god! As I said, this is shit, it's like cursed. Like I said, this, I think this, um. Thankfully, I have. I, <laughs> So I, I have fire, the fire thing. I think I, I believe I had that turned off, like destroying blocks. So at least that's not an issue, but still, my God, that scared me half to death. Um, yeah, I need, I need to kill some cows. I feed my dog here because that, you got a lot of hurt there. Awesome. Where'd the music go? I know, I think it's just a quiet song. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that's another thing I want to, for the music, I want to um, balance the audio. Because originally the audio wasn't super well balanced. And someone else helped me with a better ba audio balance on that. So. Use that meat. So that's one other thing I want to sort that out. Oh, I don't need that combo right now. Um, but yeah, like I was saying with the videos and stuff, good goal for me is to always just try to do something unique, something, um, that isn't just, you know, the same as everyone else. That's why I wanted to do this, like, you know, sort of modded thing. Um, but also because I don't really like super modded content. I like, you know, a little fun, a little casual thing. Nothing too crazy, but it'd be enough for me to be like, oh, I look over there. Oh, there's something really neat over there. Oh, there's another thing over there that's really cool. And you explore and, you know, sort of um, a good um, comparison, I should say, is if you play Breath of the Wild, for example, there is always something on the horizon that piques your interest. That's the sort of thing I wanted to have in Minecraft. Minecraft sort of already has that in terms of... Um, oh, excuse me. In terms of, like, features of, like, the world generation. However, that doesn't provide you enough of a sense of, like, I'm going to be making something or... Not making something. I'm going to be getting something out of that. That's more so I'm going to be exploring and see if there's something there I could get something out of. Like, I like the sort of sense of, um, I'm getting something out of it in the already, like, planned. Um, well, it's hard, hard to explain, really, actually. But that concept. Also, I'm going to have you sit there. But, yeah. Also, I think that regeneration works on the dog, so that's probably why he didn't he's not like complaining. But yeah. That's basically uh why I'm doing the, this here. I'm probably also gonna do like Terraria in the future, but I think that's gonna be a thing with uh Jitch. Just Jitch. Since he also wants to uh do stuff like that, like uh Terraria. So when I think that might be like after Pokemon Mo. Uh, so we can make that as like a, another like multiplayer thing, but yeah, um, I, I'm not you know I'm not guaranteeing that. That's just a thing we've talked back and forth on uh, in Pokemon Mo and stuff like that. Of a possibility, what was that? No. I swear I'm hearing noises. But yeah, um, outside of that though. I have some ideas of for the future that I want to explore. Uh, as I said with the edited content, I want to do some old playthroughs, but I'm also doing, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the, um, well, not earlier, but in a past stream, uh, that I want to do a highlight video 
of the well not highlight video a video of just going over like you know every location for pokemon starters in poke mmo uh best ways to you know grab them what lures to use just a little a step like step through guide in a way but also showing the stuff that i ended up having to deal with because of it like finding a random articuno that just like jump scares you while you're hunting for a squirtle so that was fun and that happened and that was off stream and i was not actually you know expecting that because there was actually like really no documentation on like how you get like encounter these like articuno and these other you know the other birds so i had no idea that would happen so that was fun um but yeah that's why i recorded though because i wanted that b-roll for such because and just so i could talk over that explain stuff doing a little thing um another thing that i want to aim for eventually is also improving my uh my whole streaming setup in in itself um, like, I have a good UI, I have good overlay stuff, that's, that I'm happy with. And I can always make more, and I can always, like, uh, commission stuff out. But as of this current state, I'm pretty satisfied with the, the core stuff of it. Um, I do want to expand, um, some things here. Like, like I said, as I made the music playlist, that's also, you know, I'm using that myself. That is anything I want to use for my, uh, like, my streams. Um, but it's all, you know, it's for other people as well. So, and having more of those allows people to pick, oh, I want to use this one today, or I want to use that one. I probably will eventually have to do that as well, since right now I'm just using the one. And there is technically a part two, and also, like, you know, a spooky one. But the spooky one is more so i'm not really going for that vibe for my stream and the second one is not as audio balanced as the first so that's why i'm making a third one uh with the stuff that in mind that i know how to do now but yeah Outside of that, though, um, what else is there uh, that's happened in my life as of late? I, well, I mean, I guess I could say this. Um, I've been having a lot of, like, my ear issue, I guess you would say. I guess it'd be an ear issue. Um, just a sort of, like, ear infection thing. I've been, like, I think it's been an issue of me, like, scratching my ears a lot and, like, rubbing them. For whatever reason, I've been, like, irritated by them. And I think it's uh, gotten an ear infection because, you know, I, I scratched uh, the inside by accident, like, a little too hard or something. And it causes an ear infection. So, right now it's a little swell, a swell, swollen. What is that? Kitty cat. Um, So, it's a little hard to hear out of my left ear. But, yeah, it's just swollen right now. It doesn't hurt or anything. It's just, you know, inflamed. So, so it just says, I guess, a PSA. Try to be careful with your ears. They can, uh, you can somewhat hurt them. They are very sensitive. But yeah, um, I guess it would be, it'd be a too high window. Yeah, and I'll make. The inside of each four is going to be one, two, three, four. I think it'll be a four tall. And that'll be a floor right there. I think that'd be good. It'll be a floor there. And it'll be one, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that'd be good. It'd be a, like a four or five story building then. Let me grab more of the uh, stone. And then we could turn that into more of the stone blocks. Nice. Perfect. 
Because I realize, like, these blocks here on those sides here, you won't be able to see those. But, eh, whatever. I should get some sand. That's going to be another thing I have to do. Uh, where's the nearest sand I could see? Like, here, here. Again, I don't know what happened here. That might just be, like, a weird glitch. It got cut off or something. So, what is this? Well, these are pumpkins. I don't know what these are. Alright, um... What should the... Doors V, I wonder. Do what do do I have any other unique doors I can make? I can make a copper door. Oh yeah, a copper door would be cool. And I got enough copper block stuff. Um is it with normal copper? Yeah. Alright, awesome. The one thing I wanted to add, um, but I don't think it was uh, available for this version of Minecraft yet, which was a, a the hot bars on there, you were able to press tab and it'll switch between them. Also, I just realized what tab does here. It shows the names of each uh, enemy and such. Interesting. Nice. But yeah, that looks good. I'll put copper blocks up there as well. Let's have to smelt some copper though. Uh, grab some stone. God oh, dang it. Oh, sorry about that. I just sneezed. Hopefully, uh, I. You did that in time. I think I did. Uh, da, 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 da. Wait, can I just melt the salt? No. No, that that would be a nice feature to have. Like they should add. You can smelt the the copper blocks, and it would just make a you know one whole normal copper block. Weird that it doesn't. What? Oh. Alright, uh, pop them in there. Let me just put these back into a box. Alright, and then put them back in here. So I got one block. And need one more, and then I can make another one. Alright, there we go. Alright, perfect. Nice. That looks cool. I'll probably put like a sign on these as well. And I love that sound. It's a good sound. Alright, um back to the building here. So building a hand. Go up to multiple floors. Now how what am I gonna be putting in the building? So I'll probably You'll probably spawn like right here. Actually, I should... Well, let me just do this first. Alright, so... The goal is to just make this a little nicer. And then I'll set world spawn. Right now, no one else has, like, the IP. I mean, technically, I have, like, 
one uh, friend of group has it, but they're not really interested in joining the server right now. But the other people, I know some people showed interest of joining in uh, when they can. So when that happens, I will definitely try to uh, give them the such and have this done for them to join. But yeah. Honestly, really, uh, been really fun and chill. I've been enjoying this. Just being able to build, play stuff. This one is more so like a building stream and mining stream, I feel. I'm not going to be really exploring like I did like the first episode. But definitely in probably the next time I stream this, we're going to be going out and exploring a little more. What was that? I think this like growled at me. All right. Uh, I don't need that. I need another chest. That's what I need. What happened here? A gravel. What? Ha this stuff is not making sense anymore. It's something like interrupt, like disturb that or some shit. I think there's like a, this game has like a demonic presence or something happening with it. Alright. Yeah, I should be good with that. I don't really need that. Um What do I need though? I mean And I guess I could uh smelt some more stone. Yeah, that, that should be good. I wonder if you could, uh, smell, um, gravel. I want, or, I don't think I can, like, you know, not in the main games, but. I feel like something that could technically be a thing. I can make a gravel, whatever. Let's see. Grab. <laughs> what can I make, actually? I can make a stack of books, that's a whatever, black sheet. Oh, I can make some pots, that's cool. Um, a wide pot, a loom. Made some torch. Berry jam jar. Um, nothing too interesting. All right, wait, here we go. What's this? Cut copper. Yeah, nothing too cool. Um, I probably will need wood. That's probably why I'm not getting too many uh, recipes happening in my... Let's see. Wait, where are they? There we go. No, oh, still the same. Okay, never mind then. What I probably need to build is like a wood cutter or a stone cutter. I don't have any iron on me, so let me turn this into. All right, I guess not. Okay. So I was expecting I'd be able to make it like a stone cutter thing. And actually, I don't even know how to make that then. I bet it would uh, show me, like, the whole thing. Like, I can make this stuff, of course, but I want to be able to see, like, you know, stuff generally you can make without having the recipes, but, you know, whatever. Can't be too picky about this stuff. Let me em empty my inventory real quick. Uh, 
do do. He placed this uh, piece of dirt. And craft the more of the stone. That's where I'm hearing stuff. I don't need the gold. Alright, we should be good. I'll pick back up the stuff here. Okay, here we go. And delete some more blocks here, and then I'll place down the floor. And that'll be the first floor done. And then after I get this floor done, the second floor, I'm not sure what I'll have it designed as and on how to get up there. I sort of don't want to do ladders because I always, uh... I like doing ladders, but I feel ladders are more so good for, like, base stuff. But not, like, you know, structural stuff. So I'll probably do, like, a fancy, like, staircase of sort. Alright, that we got that. Iron. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, let's place a torch here, just in case. I don't want mobs spawning under... Here. And let me just make sure. I want to make sure I have it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I dug a little farther than needed. So. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11. Alright, so that's... This is supposed to be the wall. So... There. So I dug a little too far. I might do something with that. That might be like a separate sort of room thing, maybe. I don't know. Actually, I'll probably do an indentation. Like, for like... I don't know, rules? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not that serious about this. It's not going to be like a big, like... Whatever, but I mean, good to have rules, I guess. But, here we go. Oops. Alright, nice. But yeah, it's, it's nice to have a little, um peaceful time building and playing listening to a little few tunes all right need to get some more stone all right need to put some more stone in there and in there as well Craft. All right, perfect. And we are set with this. Oh, we are set. We are set with this floor. Nice. So let me. So let me. Just, uh, And just pull this down. Alright, that looks good. Alright, so walls. I'll probably do more. Mm, I don't know. Like, it'd be, it's, it's nice to have an accent wall. But... Would that be a good accent? I mean, I'm probably going to do something inside there. Maybe wood. That'd be a smart idea to do, like, a, some wood blocks there. But I could also do the smooth stone instead. So it'd be a nice, like, smooth stone wall and then put some, like, uh, 
what you call it, um, signs on it. And then it'll be a really nice look. It'll be like, you know, blah, blah, blah. You, you sign in, uh, you log in, you join in, you're like, look I'm right here, straight ahead. You see these rules, you see the welcome, whatever. And then you can turn around and head on out. Or we would have like, say, um, probably not that way, it'd be this way. It'd be a stairwell going up and around up to the second floor. And then maybe like, you know, have some chairs here. Uh, yeah, put a chair here. I mean, these are technically I have a mod that allows you to do chairs, but I mean, hey, whatever. Traditional is traditional. I should look into the stair thing. Stair. I mean, I can't build that right now. I have to get the, uh, the blocks to do that. But, you know. There's an item over here. Is that above or below? That's way over there. Okay. But yeah. Um. Alright, let's head over here. Grab the stone. Which uh, coal do I have here? That's eh, still a decent amount. But yeah, let me uh, place the smooth stone as a test here. I didn't mean to place that one right there, but I'm going to place it here so then I could use it as a prop block. Oops. I think that looks good. Place some of these two torches here. Here are these. Then place another. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'll, let me do that. Yeah, that, that looks better. Let me put these away real quick. Yeah, that, that looks nice. It's a little dark here, but I think that works. I'll probably do maybe like a block here or like that will light this up. Maybe like glass and then maybe, I don't know, lava under it. I don't know. But I'll put like sign, uh, signs here of some sort. And then the walls here. should I do? Oh, I got an idea. Uh, there it is. Grab some of this wood. Wasn't much in that one. Oh yeah, let me uh, put that back there. Need to light up the area. So how's that is that regeneration working all the way over here? I'm gonna know how large that radius is. What does it replenish? How far? So yeah, it's about About here. So that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. About fifteen blocks. Not too bad of a radius. So let's see. What if I do something like. So I want to do this one either stairwell upwards. So it'd be something like like this, and then it would go upwards. I 
I'm gonna do it like two blocks per platform. And then it would allow me to get up there like this. I think it's raining. Or is that wind? No, oh, it's raining. Alright, and then yeah, it allows me to get up there, and we're good to go for the next floor. I think that's. So it technically pushes it back one more, since you're standing on this here. So that might just, yeah, that, that should be fine, I think. I mean, I should have really, I should have just like pushed this back one. Yeah, let me just do that. And that allows me to use these. Perfect. Let me just grab this coal though, since I need more coal. It'll be a nice little setup here. Alright, and that should be good here. So I don't think anything really special happens with uh, the rain. I don't think I did anything mod-wise with the rain. But yeah, I definitely need to break these blocks a little more. Hate uh, banging my head on this stuff. That's good. No more headbanging. Alright, now with that out of the way, so what I want to do here now is I'll probably turn these into the stone blocks. And then as it goes up, I'll probably do like logs to do support. So it'll be a log here, log here, and then logs here. And I can probably like behind there put like, I don't know, like chests or barrels. You know, some aesthetic things. So yeah, let me grab more of the blocks. Oh, yeah, let's see from the tree. Let me put some more things away here. All right, there we go. All right, I, I always, I always get like tripped up because when you go out into the rain or in water. The torch technically I don't think lights up anything because it's put out. But once you get into you know, like out of the water or out of the rain, it turns back on. I like that because it makes it far more like realistic of a, uh, you know, dynamic torch thing. It isn't just, you know, a mechanic. It's actually like a, uh, a functioning tool that relies on you know the real life stuff and here we go all right and 
me place the torch in here. Because I don't want mobs spawning in there. And this will be the next floor. Perfect. Now to do the log thing I was mentioning. Oh my god. God dang it. Hate when that happens. Startles me every single time. stuff away. And pick some stuff back up. What do um I see something on the mini map. I don't know what that is. Looks like a goat, but I don't think goats spawn here. Take that gray thing. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a skeleton archer. Got ya. That was a weird noise. Oh wait, there's an iron golem here, isn't there? Hopefully not. I don't think there's enough villagers for that. Yeah, okay, so we're good. I got scared for a second there, I was like, oh no, now I'm gonna be hunted down. <laughs> I should have added the um the like the OG like Minecraft oof noise. I always preferred that than the like you know the bone breaking like ankles. That's always annoyed me because it's it's so generic. I love I love that oof like noise. That always felt like you know more personalized. So I'll do it like here. Yeah, that looks good. I think actually what I'm going to do is just have it every other. So, because that feels a little too much. So, it'll be like that. And then you could go in here, grab some chest stuff. Yeah, that'll look good. That'll look good. And plus, I'll probably have, like, something over here is similar, but it's not going to be, like, the actual, like, uh... So I'll probably have like log, log, and then wait, what's the gap looking like? Three, three, and then two. How would I do that over here? Be symmetrical. I mean, I guess I could do that. It'd be like a support beam. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, sorry, you got in. And then I, I could. Uh, what I could do then is, since I will do that in the sim like similar stand like style, 
I'll have those on this side and those will go up as well. And the stairwell that's going up this way will then start going that way. So it'll be a very nice, like, you know, visually aesthetic thing when it goes up a floor. See, that? these are the things I think about. So, since this goes up, you want to go, it will go this way, and then straight ahead, you go that way. So then, yeah, I want it, this will match that then. And I won't go deep into the wall. This is just, you know, this a little aesthetic thing. Uh, let's make some pickaxes. So did they? Yeah, I did. Okay. Did they drop more though? No, they didn't. And let's uh, place this here. Perfect. Doesn't look like the rain's a bit let up in a while. Alright, and then we get to place these. Oops. What I might do is... Now, what, what I do for the stone here... And so while that is support, technically... I mean, I could tech... Mm, I'm not sure... Wait, what, what does it look like out here? How far out does this go? And so I would... Since that would be going out two blocks... I mean, I technically could pull that off. Let's see. It doesn't need to be like a full bo two blocks. It could just be maybe like one deep. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I mean, I think that looks good. It'll just be a little aesthetic look. Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, I actually find di I found diamond. That's actually a really cool mineral to find. Alright. I mean... Eh, why not? Let me do two. I'll just place uh, stone in that place. And then we could just, like, you know, put some decorations up on this as, like, there it's a shelf. I'm all for having some uh, clean visuals in a, a structure of sort and then this one more down this way and we should be good and do I have any of the normal stone in my pocket no I don't so let me grab it out of the furnaces. Put some coal in there. Did I pick up? Yeah, I did. And then pop this in there. Oh, stop raining. Nice. Okay, so let me do this. Oh, the uh, thing started to erode. Alright, 
So the next thing is to place those blocks. That's perfect. So I will need those logs and then those logs. And then in here I'll place, actually no, I won't actually place the logs. Hmm. No, I will. That'll be fine. Well, what is that? Singularity point. I mean, that is what this is uh, technically going to be. It's going to be a, a, sp a spawn point. Thank you, Mr. Ghost, but you are correct. Um, I need another chest, so let me make that. Oh, hey, my uh, ear just, like, popped. So... That means it's the inflamingness is going away. I hear a little bit out of it more. <laughs> All right. Um, put the iron in there as well. Don't need this stuff on me. Got 16 diamonds so far. Got some lapizuli out of there. A lot of good mineral mar uh, mining. grab my other stuff here Put you here so what is this apply selected profile I don't know what that is it's part of one of the mods also I like this I could sort my inventory Um, yeah, I need the logs. I have some bones here, so let me bone meal the tree. The hell? There we go. Why are there so many? Horse jockeys. I think that mod I added that adds like more of those. There is this like the the percentage of that is too high. Might have to tweak that for in the future because that's the the point is not to have them every time. It's the point is just to have them spawn a little naturally a little more. Yeah, I might put some more of these um, campfires down around the base, just so that more mobs are uh, less likely to spawn. Wait, more? Well, yeah, less likely. I didn't. I don't. I think I said more. I don't mean more. But yeah, we got some more logs here. And then. Oops. All right, let's need two more. And then that should be good. Oh, wait, I did that wrong. There we go. And I'll add uh, logs will go up there as well. I just got another one. Place this one. Oh, did you see that? You, I didn't. I did see that you want my. How's the uh, stream been? Just got back from dinner. Oh, I've been doing pretty good. Um, you can probably see that I uh, have a Twitch chat. <laughs> it didn't. Ah. Ah, one of the mobs died, or one of the villagers died. The 
But yeah, um, been doing pretty good. Just been uh, building the uh, the area where people spawn in at. It's a little building here. Um, I found a nice uh, village here. Um, I did scoping out a little bit before stream just to in this area. Like I basically flew around just to get an idea of like villages in this plain area, and I didn't look in the villages. But I added stuff like uh, mods as well to name, uh, to name the villages and oh my god, but yeah, I've been getting a lot of haunted stuff popping up here and there, as you can tell from there. I'm getting spooked, but um, <laughs> but. Yeah, it's been going pretty good. I've just been building out the uh, spawn thing. I'm going to have like a little like... It's not going to be like a super serious rule list, but I'm going to have like, you know, some signs here. And you would spawn in here um, and then come out here and, you know, just a village. There's not too many villagers here. Yeah, the one, one of the villagers died. There is an iron golem here. That's cool. But there was five. I think he, the one that died was over here. But stupid iron jockeys. But um, but yeah, it's been pretty pretty good. I haven't died this stream yet. I say yet, as you know. <laughs> but yeah, been in having a fun time. Mostly just building up, having a crafting and all that. So let me bone meal the other tree over here. All right, nice. But yeah, how was uh, dinner for you? Oh, sorry. It was yummy. Tried another local beer brand and was satisfied. Well, that's good to hear. It's always good to try uh, local stuff like that. The barbecue place called it the Twisted Duck. Interesting. I think I've heard of something like that. Um, like that name. Well, I mean, to be fair, the duck thing is actually a very uh, common sort of name of stuff i think so it might not mob in this y'all has a lot of brewery stuff ah okay cool so this is one two three four five and this is five okay two three four five oh he has why well, that's that's actually pretty cool Now, what would have been very cool is if, um, um, what's his name? Gordon Ramsay uh, visited there. Then you know it's good. But yeah, if Guy Fieri is it, I mean, that place is, uh, generally pretty well known and popular, so. It's probably why I know of it, because it's, you know, it's a popular name sake. Yeah, let me know if you uh, want to join. So I know you said you were interested in uh, joining it. But, yeah. If you are, I uh, in the server, I posted the, um, the mod list. Like the, the you know, the modern uh, file thing. And then... If you uh, let me know, I'll hit you up with the IP of the join. So that's that's the one thing I won't uh, share just on stream. Just whatever. I mean, it's not a you know an actual like IP IP. It's just a website thing I have set up. Um, but I do just want to not have just any Joe Smo join without permission. 
Is that sometimes you you never know about people sometimes. It's a it's a semi public server. But yeah. It'll be interesting. Let me uh get the junk downloaded and I'll let you know along. Uh, I probably plan on being on it. This uh let's see, how long have I been live so far? Man. Why is it OBS? Uh, uh, oh, oops. Oh, I didn't see that for a while. Apparently, uh, I ran out of storage space for my recording, so I probably will have to download this off Twitch. That's a bummer. Um, but yeah, I've been up for about two hours, so maybe another two or three more hours I'll play. Um, let me see what time it is, though, for me personally, though. It is eight, so... If I do go for more, I've, I want to order food in two hours. So, but yeah, it's probably going to be a, at least two hours, maybe three more hours. And so I want, I'm already in two hours in. So, but yeah, I'm down for anything really. It's almost, by the time I end, it'll be like at uh, 10 o'clock, 11. And then after I am uh, done, I'm probably going to be working on a thumbnail for a uh, Pokemon Mo VOD that I have, as well as working on a the VOD for this stream as well. So it'll be a bit of annoying now that I have to download the um, Twitch VOD of this, but you know, it's going to be a little bit lower quality when I upload it to YouTube, which is a bummer, but it is what it is. I'd rather have it uploaded at all than lose it entirely but yeah I, if you you probably noticed I uh, changed the how the layout is uh probably food wise I'm mixing it's either I'm gonna be making something um or I'm going to be just ordering like pizza or something just something quick and easy it's like not sure right now. I mean, I have, I have uh, the ability to do either or. So, it's not like I'm uh, starving of choices here. But it's probably going to be like... I mean, I have a free pizza from Pizza Hut I could do. So that's an option. But they literally close at 10. So, I would have to be make sure I get it at 10. And then have them uh, I'll deliver it by whatever time and then you know so it's yeah, there we go it's like looking for a torch and i'm like i already have the torch out um but yeah probably something like that i might be just be dominoes honestly because they're pretty uh cheap price wise and they're not too bad and they're pr relatively quick and they go until like midnight here so but yeah this depends on uh, how I'm feeling. I might probably get like something, um, like probably just a medium pie and like cheesy bread, and that'd be it. If I get it from Domino's, if I get Pizza Hut, usually I just get a pie. Like, and since this is a free large pie, I'll probably just get that, and I don't know, like some sort of side of some sort. Not too uh, fond of their cheese stick stuff. But, you know. Tomorrow, we're probably going to be making um, uh, breakfast for supper. So, so that's going to be nice. Alright, and place these. So, I just realized I'm not all the way to the wall. Yeah, French, French toast dinner is always good. And it's not really too hard to make. Biscuits and gravy, yep. That's a pretty good one. There we go. 
uh, block. All right, there we go. This looks pretty good. But yeah, I want to just to let you know is uh, for the structure is I'm actually um, this easier hard part is not over soaking in the batter from what I've experienced. Yeah. But yeah, like my goal here is I'm building this floor and then there's gonna be another floor and then another floor and then you get it goes up to the like another building like not building but another floor up top here that you can exit out the other side of this. So people can just like when they spawn in, they can be here, um, check it out, read the rules, decide. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the second floor. Check this out. Blah blah blah. There's probably gonna be like I don't know, maybe food or some free items here. This to uh, kick off, and then maybe like the third floor is gonna have like some you know food. I don't know. Still thinking about it. Right now, it's just building it up and this having something uh, cool here for people to join in on. But yeah. Uh, let me take a drink. My mouth is a little drying out. There we go. Also, uh, one of the funny things is before you join, um, the... Uh, I guess the apparition ghost thing um, for a good little while there was uh, appearing before me and was making a whole bunch of like noise and I would look at it and it would, like it would, like growl at me I'm like like what what, am I, what do I do stop growling at me <laughs> it's like come on dude chill also it uh, I don't know what happened it this thing it, it got destroyed here and i don't know what happened i came over here there, the blocks were on the ground that's why i came over here i'm like oh what happened over here and i didn't see this part and i look over and i'm like what the hell and and then there was like stuff here like on the ground like jittering and then it growled at me and it disappeared i'm like what like what the hell happened <laughs> where's the cat I hear a cat meow, but I don't see a cat. Oh yeah, th that thing is not actually the ghost. This is this terrain generation issue. I guess the cat's up there, maybe? But yeah. It's just oddity stuff. And I think it also happened here, because the gravel fell randomly. And it landed on my furnace after I already placed it. But... Also... Yeah, I could just test this. So this is a uh, mod I recently added. That is pretty cool. What the hell? This is a natural generation thing. Okay. I thought this was like a tunnel. I didn't draw, like, dig that out. But, um, yeah. So I added this cool thing. I added a villager. So hay blocks, like Assassin's Creed, will absorb your fall. So you can do like sort of fun stuff if you really wanted to for a build. Like, you know, set up a tall building and just put down a whole bunch of hay blocks at below. And you can jump down safely. Yeah, that's just the mod for this. This isn't actually like a normal Minecraft. Don't do that in normal Minecraft. <laughs> Unless you have, I think honey blocks will absorb. But I don't think they absorb 100%. But yeah. Really enjoying the fog here. Very moody. Yeah, same. What do you have? Why are you, why are you shaking? No, I want to trade. No one wants to trade in this building. Or in this town. They're all lazy. What up here? Got any, any uh, good spot for fishing? I drop, I drop whatever I'm doing when it rains. Fish. Um. 
I mean, there's some areas like down here if you follow this path it's a, i like to note we are very high up you could if you look at where the y level is it's 150 down here is like half that that's one of the things that i want to um eventually like build a path down but yeah there's water right nearby so this i sort of built up here for where the spawn is so that it's like a nice uh protected like highland area um, people could probably, like, build their bases over there if they really wanted to. And there's, like, a really cool, like, cave system, like, literally in the cliff of the mountain here. That people could, like, actually, um, like, explore. Is it, it's, like, it's a, um, a stalactite, uh, building. Or cave, I mean, not building. I'll probably maybe, like, like, have another, like, building, uh, over there, maybe where i'll probably like have it like dig down into it and make like a ca uh like cave uh can't speak right now uh cave shaft i guess you would say also i did add one mod this is to be a, a test i have no idea if it's working or not but since they are right nearby uh it's again this is sort of like a a casual thing and not like a whatever where is it also there is a building on there i went there all right here it is so enderman they're actually friendly i made them uh sort of like how zombie piglin uh pigmen used to be where they are passive unless you aggro them and looking at them does not aggro them anymore um so since, you know, they are mobs that you are technically... Actually, did I go to that one? Yeah, I did. That that was... Yeah, that one was the one I went to. Um, It won't attack you. So unless you attack it, it won't attack you. So you can have, you know, Frenderman. That was the sort of thing I was saying. You know, that'd be fun. You could have a, a friend Enderman. So, of course when you're you know hunting around you're gonna need like ender pearls so what is that over there is that a zombie let me look uh alt oh it's no it's another enderman that looks weird it looks like a, a person for sun Really, internet? Okay. Uh, something with my internet hicked up. Yeah, it says I had uh, no internet for a second on my computer. So, yeah, that was weird. That was actually, like, my internet internet screwing up. Alright, that's gonna be annoying. Now I have, now I have to, hopefully that's not gonna screw up too many things. And now no applications. Yeah. That sucks. Hopefully it'll be, uh, Twitch. It's not too bad for Twitch to compile that. Of course that had to happen. As soon as, you know, like I said, like the recording. I'm not recording now because OBS like said, oh, there's no room. And I didn't, I don't know when that popped up. Because I have that on a second monitor and I have like alerts turned off for that because I don't like having the noise happen while streaming. Uh, it's whatever. It happens. But yeah, I don't know why that happened. I guess maybe um, this weird uh, hiccups. Since the other day OBS had a, uh, not OBS, um, Xfinity had an issue with the um, my internet and I had to it took like a few hours to get that fixed but yeah these things got resolved eventually but yeah I mean my internet hasn't been too bad as of late it's just weird that's been happening recently I don't know if they're changing something in the back end. They could. That usually is what why stuff starts breaking. 
because uh, the services have to update, like, you know, firmware or something in the back end that starts screwing up with uh, the main, like, service stuff. Uh, how? Got, like, halfway. So, I need one, two, three, four. Four more rows. So one, two, All right, reconnected, finally. Is this a Twitch issue? All right, we are back. I don't know what is happening right now. I'm checking Twitch to see if Twitch is having issues. Is, I mean, I heard uh, police sirens just blare off right outside. Not outside, outside, but like near me, but. I don't know if that could cause it. A blip or whatever. This would be annoying VOD and upload. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what's the deal with this. It feels like my internet is like chugging. Let me check. Uh... Upload tester. Speed test. Here we go. Now what? All right, now it's just my music video. It seems to be stuck. All right, that is definitely my internet then. All right, yeah, there is something. All right, I might have to... Stop streaming, I guess. Because there is no... Oh, what happened here? There's a message here. Yeah, it's just something's with the internet. Wait, alright. Are we back? I got a notification in chat. Am I... Is it... Let's see. Uh, Twitch, connect, Lizard Red. We'll connect. Is it Twitch? Is it me? I don't know what's happening. I think it's me. I'm getting connection time that one, Googling. But it says my internet is up. So it has to be Xfinity. Yeah, all right. Well, I think I'm going to have to cancel the stream then. I mean, I put some time into it, but... 